Most people in America are quite familiar with the laws and the relationship management aspects of touch. Human touch is something that is given to us by God, of course, in which we have the right to choose who we're going to touch, how we're going to touch them, and when we're going to touch them, and whether or not, most importantly, it's appropriate at that time. We also recognize that other people have rights, and those people have rights to say no to that touch. I can remember when a colleague of mine was screaming at the top of her lungs in a place that she was borrowing an office, and it was literally echoing through the glass walls of that office, and I stepped in with her and I said, please stop. And I attempted to say, let me hug you, and let me, uh, in a meaning so that she could release all that rage and anger at her ex-husband, or about to be ex-husband, to me instead of in front of every person that I encouraged to to basically trust her. When I'm talking about this, I'm not trying to disparage her because every one of us has those moments of time where we just go berserk. I remember having one in a car with my son and I feel humiliated from that even still. I remember having an occasion like that one time in Japan where I embarrassed myself and I impacted a child in a way I never should have. But I was out of my mind with the inappropriateness of how he was feeling because I wasn't thinking about that. I was just trying to satisfy a tax attacked and a task for my family, which was to take a family photo with the three of us. I'm not sure where those photos are today. I'm not sure what happened to my late wife's photos. We had them all over a photo album that she took a lot of her loving time to create for our family. But when I went to those photo albums, what I found was a bunch of family, fa family photos of somebody else's family in my extended family in them. And I'm pissed off for that. They didn't have the right to take those out. They didn't have the right to imply that I'd have a right to my personhood, my paperwork, my property, and my possessions, or my family of choice. You see, your family of choice did things to your life. Your family of choice, including your husband, your spouse, your significant other, has impacted your life. It has practically destroyed your life, possibly, with your family or with your friends. That's on your life. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about touch, but what I can tell you is the Butch Dyke lesbian who's been attacking my life since the very beginning and passing my information that is private across the network is just a jealous bitch of a man who was a success in his life. There's no other reason for her to be doing it. I have no interest in her. I find her unattractive because I would as a man who's interested in women. And openly, I don't have to produce any more information to anyone about my medical health or medical rights, but because of my situation, I become much more interested in valuing women's lives who often get abused by men and total strangers who think they have rights to them. I'm telling you, motherfuckers, you have no rights to a woman who is not your wife, not your spouse, not your plaything, if that's what you call her, and some total stranger across America. You don't. Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross for you to abuse people. And Jesus Christ most certainly didn't die on the cross so that you could put your hands on someone's beard in the night and cut it off. Jesus Christ is not in immoral people. That's true. And Jesus Christ doesn't give a shit who you fuck, but what he does care is about your soul in you. Your illegalness is not in who you are in sexual situations. Those are private moments that he gives you of free choice and natural inclinations to handle. But when you try to force your ideology on life on other people, that's when you've sinned against Christ. Because Jesus Christ and the Lord of God most high, and I hit the Christians because I am pagan, and I will continue to do this until you stop wagging your little fucking tails at people. But openly, here's the deal. If you're a Christian, then you should be feeding people like me. If you're Wiccan, then you should be working on taking care of the trees. And if you're a bee charmer, and I mean an actual bee charmer like one little front girl named Amelia, then you better fucking get your life together because I'm not your fucking playtime. 